Hello, beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous beings. I hope you're having a great, gorgeous day. I am brought to you to talk to you. Um, I'm not going to gloat about my artwork or anything. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, recently, my roommate and I have been having multiple conversations about romance and basically like the fight or flight mode where it's like when you're at the early stages and you're like trying to figure things out and you're like teeter-tottering on like is this a good thing or should I run for the hills and so that's also been making me wonder a lot about different past experiences and the um lessons that come with them <coughs> excuse me and what I want to speak to you guys about today is romantic slash just in general lessons that I wish I learned sooner because I feel like I would have let me off in a better way. <laughs> um, so getting right into it, the first one that I really wish I learned, even as just a young fucking child, is boundaries. Um, growing up, I was 100% a people pleaser. And so recently, I've been trying to unlearn those um, tendencies of being a people pleaser and one of the biggest ones is obviously boundaries waiting to say no when to say yes saying that you need time you need help all this shit that's what is one that I wish I learned as a child because one I hate asking for help and I guess it's like not technically a boundary but I kind of group it in as the same uh, and then the next one would be like obviously like when to say no, you don't want to hang out. No, you don't want to go do this. No, you need your time alone. Or yes, you can do this. Yes, this is fine. Um, I'm usually a yes, 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 yes. I put people first, me last. And, um, but <laughs> this is just a total side note. But whenever I get like screwed over, then that person is basically dead to me. And then I just care about myself and I get really selfish. But that's just my own personal flaws. <laughs> Anyways, um, as we all know, we're human and none of us are perfect. Uh, but yes, the one that I really wanted to learn more, like, recently is just when to say enough is enough and sticking to those boundaries. I am, I've always been big on going back on my boundaries uh, just because I, I hate to disappoint people and disappointment is something that really sucks for me and as for most people. So when it comes to like having to disappoint this person because I can't do what it is that they need me to do, it's like, well, fuck, I'm just a worthless piece of shit, right? That's not at all the case. <laughs> and that is was difficult for me to learn because you're just as impor important as that person. And if that person is genuinely a good person and understands like you and cares about you, they're going to be like, oh, okay, that's fine, you know? Because I would never get upset at like, a person saying that they need time to themselves and I just I genuinely don't understand how people can get upset we all need time to recharge but that's just a side note <laughs> the um the boundaries is definitely one that's very difficult I mean I'm even still trying to stay true to my boundaries and I just those people pleasing tendencies always like to come back and I over and extend myself even just now but it was definitely way worse back then <laughs> especially when it came to like finances I'd be like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll pay for everything wild wild <laughs> but um the next one would be um self-confidence uh and that's like such a like self-confidence is a lesson yeah bitch <laughs> when I was with a narcissist um the self-confidence lessons that I got there, they were brutal. They were brutal as fuck. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. <laughs> they were difficult. Um, but I'm very thankful for how difficult they were because now, no matter what a guy does, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> Don't you love trauma? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <coughs> but yeah. Thankfully, because those lessons when I was fucking like 16, 17 were so difficult, I'm untouchable. You can't do shit to me. Oh, you cheated? That's cool. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> and that was something that was so, like, at that time when I was going through it, I was just like, oh my god, why 
is this happening to me? Just like so victim mentality and just like instead of being mad at the person who was fucking cheating, I was mad at myself as if I was the one that was doing it, which is just like, what? <laughs> who does that? I do that. I do that. But anyways, uh, that was something that I wish I had learned sooner and not so difficult. You know, just like being like, I am the shit. And my mom had always told me like, when people cheat on you, it's not a, because of you. It's because one, they're insecure. Two, they're with the badass bitch. And uh, three, they just are just a shitty human. Like, that's all it is. And I don't care what um, people do, you know? People are going to do what they do. You're, no one owes you uh, loyalty. No, you're not entitled to that. No one owes me loyalty. So if people cheat on me, that's a reflection of them. That's a reflection of their character. And um, it's just, it is what it is. You know, you have to be able to detach from people and situations. And it's easier said than done. I get that. I do. But um, one thing that has helped me, because I used to be like so worried that people were gonna like leave my life because I people had left my life a lot <laughs> so I was always just like oh my god they're just gonna leave me like everybody else and the way that my mom had explained it to me when I was younger was um there's a couple different ways you know if someone leaves your life my mom would always be like it's just the trash taking itself out and I'd sit there and I'd be like mom you're so cutthroat and mean but she's so right <laughs> It's just, um, it's a little difficult uh, whenever you're younger because you, you, you don't understand the fact that um, you can't control people, or at least for me, <laughs> I can't control people, and people are going to do what it is that they're going to do, and there's nothing you can really do about it other than just move on and continue with your life, and that was something that was extremely hard for me. It really was, I'll be honest. Um, but now that I have gone through that, I am able to detach from people and situations extremely easy to the point where people think that I never cared about them. And it's just like, that is not the case. That is not the case. I'm very selective with who I allow in my space and in my home. So if I allow you to enter through the doors of my home, just know that you mean something to me. <laughs> so, um... Just because I detached from the situation doesn't mean that I never cared. And um, what that what I'm trying to say is for if you're watching this and this is something that you would want to do, um, how I would see it is like this person no longer serves me. They are no longer in alignment with me. And if you're a spiritual person, the spirituality has really helped me and opened up my eyes to the fact that energy is always interchanging and you cannot hold on to anything with dear life because it can be taken from you in an instant and you never know why but it'll always be for the better no matter what the universe takes it will always be replaced with better and that has something that has been something a <laughs> that has helped me through many 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 times in my life because uh, it's just just knowing the fact that this person who left my life, I will always have love for them. I will always care for them. But now I'm ready for something new. And now I'm ready for something that's more in alignment with me. And because people are always interchanging and it's just energy is constantly flowing, people will always leave your life. It's just the way the world works. And it's easier to get that mentality of uh, detachment, <laughs> even though you might disappoint people. And that, again, ties back to the people-pleasing, where I hate disappointing people. Uh, but I'm working on that disappointment. You know, people are going to be disappointed. I've been disappointed my whole life, as has every single else person on this planet. No one is special. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everyone is special. But what I'm trying to say is, no one is special in feeling that they are always disappointed because everyone is constantly disappointed and because of the disappointments it makes us appreciate the 
the people who aren't disappointing us, you know, the people that are good, that are sticking around through thick and thin and that haven't done anything to upset you or, you know, that have been there, been supportive. Uh, those are not the people that I'm talking about. <laughs> the people that I'm talking about are the ones that uh, no longer serve you and the people that you, sorry if you see flies, uh, it's obviously summer where I live, so they be, they be doing their thing. Uh, anyways, yeah, basically what I wanted to learn, I'm so sorry that I'm so scatterbrained, is uh, boundaries, self-confidence, and detachment. Those were the three main lessons that I wish I had learned at an early stage because then I would have stopped a lot of mental breakdowns, a lot of depression. <laughs> My life would have been if I learned that at like, I just threw my pencil. Uh, if I learned that at a young age, I would have been. But you know what? We all go through the things that we go through for a reason. We all learn the things that we do so we can better assist ourselves and to help others in the future potentially. And that's what I like to do. I like to talk about things that most people don't like to talk about. You know, I like to talk about my experiences because I feel like a lot of people can learn from them and I like to help people. Um, my friends always like to come to me and be like, with advice, because um, I've experienced a lot and um, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I love the fact that I have experienced a lot, even though during the time it might have been hell, but in the end, it's always been better for me. I've been able to find emotional maturity, emotional stability, and just be really confident in myself and in my decisions and know that I'm always going to make the best right choices for me. And yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Sorry if you were looking forward to some artwork. I am working on one. It'll be ready probably this weekend. Uh, yeah, but that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous rest of your day. Bye, gorgeous.